guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to start on a project that's going to be a lot of fun. I've been doing a little research trying to find some alternate ways to dry age steaks. As we all know, we love dry aged beef. It's just amazing, but it's time consuming and can be expensive and cumbersome to some degree to do. I've been doing a little bit of reading about some faux or false dry aging techniques and I'm ready to try one so let's get started. The two ingredients that we're going to use to do our fake dry aging are your typical fish sauce and another product I have here that's called Koji Rice. That's K-O-J-I and I've been doing some reading. If you'll do a Google search on false dry aging or fish sauce dry aging or koji rice dry aging, you're going to see some of the same articles I've seen regarding these techniques. What we're doing with these products is simulating the same thing that happens when dry aging occurs naturally. In a natural dry aging scenario, it's a slower process because the natural enzymes that exist in the beef are breaking down the proteins over time and tenderizing it and bringing that funky nutty flavor along with the process. What we're doing is kind of speeding that up by adding some additional enzymes through the use of fish sauce and through the use of koji rice. This koji rice is a rice that has been inoculated with a fungus called Aspergillus oryzae and I'll put that on the screen here to make sure. I don't know if I pronounced that right or not. but the addition of those, or that enzyme, that Aspergillus oryzae, is also used for fermenting things like soy sauce, miso, and other things in Japanese cooking. But that is present on this rice. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this rice and I'm going to run it through my food processor to smooth it out and make a, a finer powder out of it. And then we're going to come back out and we're going to coat some steaks with some fish sauce and this rice to get started. All right, to get this party started, I've got one big fat bone-in ribeye and one New York strip here that I picked up at Publix last night. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sprinkle on some fish sauce and I'm gonna rub this in to the surface, the top, the bottom, and the sides of both of these steaks. And we'll just flip it as we go, hit the back side, and we're gonna rub it in and we're gonna get it on the sides as well. And that's all we wanna do here is coat the outer surface. And then the next thing we're gonna do is take it over here to our tray of koji rice and we're just gonna dip it in, get both sides of that coated with the koji rice. And then I'm just gonna put both of these steaks on a rack in a pan and this is going to go into the refrigerator just like that for three days and when that three days is up we'll come back and move on to the next step we are now at the 72 hour mark I've had these steaks in the refrigerator with the fish sauce and the koji rice for three days so the next step in this process I'm gonna take a scraper and I'm going to scrape all of this material off the exterior of these steaks and then I'm going to rinse them off completely. I've got these guys scraped and rinsed off and you can see here how they've taken on that nice deep red color. So the next step in my process I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to wrap them in cheesecloth and what we're going to do is just give them a nice snug wrap in the cheesecloth and then they're going to go back into the refrigerator for another three days. And like I said, this is kind of a mishmash of some of the processes I've seen done to this point. Sometimes people just give these two days in fish sauce, one day in the refrigerator. Some people have given them two days in koji rice, one day in the refrigerator. Uh, one guy that I read about did uh, three days in fish sauce, three days in koji rice, and then three days in the refrigerator. So like I said here, we're doing kind of a mishmash 
of all of these different processes. So like I said, we're going back to the refrigerator here for three days to let those settle. And then we're going to be back uh, to have a look at them and then throw them on a Kamado Joe. Now we are ready to cook. So I'm going to light up the fire in my Kamado Joe Classic here. We're only going to cook this ribeye today. I'm going to save the other one. And we're going to fire up half of the firebox. And once I've got a nice hot fire going here, we're going to set the cast iron grate in. But while this guy's coming up to temperature, let's get the steak ready to go. Okay, after three days in the refrigerator, in the cheesecloth, we're going to unwrap this ribeye. And man, that's looking perfect. Look at that. Yes, it does have a very interesting aroma to it. So we don't have to do any trimming on this, but since it is drier than the typical steak, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake on some of my Man Cave Meals all-purpose mojo here on that side and then I'm gonna drizzle on a little bit of melted ghee and get that rubbed in all over the surface of this meat and I'm gonna flip this steak and do the same thing to the other side in just a minute while our grill's still coming up to temperature okay our grill's nice and hot I've got a nice hot fire going there under the cast iron grate and I'm gonna try a little Aaron Franklin trick here I've got a little split of oak that I'm going to lean down here up against that fire just on that side of the fire grate. I'm going to close the lid back up and let that start producing just a little bit of smoke before we come back and put this steak on. Okay, we've got some smoke rolling off that piece of oak, so I'm going to take this steak, we're going to put it in, and we're going to let it cook. I'm going to give it about two minutes, and then I'm going to turn it a little bit, and then flip it, and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're ready here to do a quick turn. I'm going to turn it about like that. Let it go another two minutes. Alrighty, it's time to flip this guy over. And I've gone ahead and put my other rack on the top side here. And now, I'm ready to take this guy up here, move it over to indirect heat to let this finish. I'm going to let that cook up to an internal temperature of about 130 or so before we uh, move on. All right, this guy's done. I'm going to take it off. We're going to let it rest for a few minutes and then cut into it. Okay, I've let this rest for about five minutes here. and. Yeah, I'll let that one side get away from me a little bit and let it get a little scorch. I'm going to cut the bone off of this. And then we're just going to slice, slice into it. Let me just start in the middle here. So I have a beautiful, nice, medium rare cook there. It looks delicious. So let's have a taste. Okay, I'm going to take a little piece off the cap here, which we all know is the best part. Let's see what we got. Hmm. That is amazing. It has a beautiful flavor. The dry age flavor here is very, very similar to real dry aged beef. I'm not real sure how to describe the difference. I've got the same aroma and a very similar flavor here in just six days worth of work. So I'm definitely gonna experiment with this some more. I encourage you to try this. If you don't wanna mess with the koji rice, just do it with fish sauce. Try the fish sauce for three days and then three days in cheesecloth in the refrigerator. I had to get my koji rice from Amazon. I couldn't find it anywhere around here, but it is available on amazon.com. So. Give this a try. Let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter, at Kamado Joe. And until next time, this is John Setzler with the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.